Hello and welcome to today's vlog. It's a bit of a bonus vlog today. I don't know if you remember last year, I or earlier this year, I'm not sure when it actually went out, but I put a vlog out about exhibiting my photography. Every year my local museum in Preston, it has an open exhibition. So basically if you live within a certain radius of the museum, you can enter your stuff into the open exhibition. And I did it last year, but I feel like I put my vlog out maybe a little bit too late to actually promote the exhibition itself. So this year the exhibition runs from the 8th of December until the 20th of January, so it's quite a long time. And I thought, as I'm, in, I'm just, just about within the radius, it sort of goes past the end of the road. As I'm in the radius and I can exhibit, it costs three pounds to exhibit and that just goes towards people putting things up and getting some bubbly for the opening night, I think. But it's a great way to get your work shown. Last year I did two photos, two square crops of two of my favorite images from last year. But this year I wanted to, I still wanted to stay within, sort of do something locally. It's not quite as local as it was last year. So this year I've done, had printed this shot from Crosby Beach, Anthony Gormley's another place. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully there's not too much glare on it. I think the, I think the glass needs a bit of a clean before I send it in. But that's what I'm exhibiting this year. It would be awesome. It's such a good feeling last year when I, when you go in for that, well, I went in for the opening night. I don't know if I will do this year. But when you go in and there was the quality of the work last year, there was so much amazing work. And then you just spot your bit of work. And it's a really good feeling. And I sort of loitered around mine for a little bit to sort of see what people were saying about it. And there were some really good comments. And it definitely boosted me up and gave me a bit more confidence as well. But as well as my picture, I've, I think I've mentioned it before that we were out in the garden one day and I was trying to do... There was, a, there was like a garden frog out in the in the garden and I was taking a shot of it and I got an average shot of it, it wasn't very good. And then my four year old at the time, he's now five, he asked if he could take a picture of it. So I, I passed him the shutter and cable release and he, um, just before he took it, the frog just popped his head out. When I was taking the shot, it was sort of hidden away, it was a bit camouflaged. But when he, just before he took it, the frog popped its head out so my son is exhibiting for the first time ever a picture that he's taken which i'm i'm not really bothered about mine i'm just doing it because i can but i'm surprisingly proud of this picture that my son took so i don't know what he's going to call it he, th he mentioned that it was going to be called james the frog which i think is quite cool i've not come up with a name for mine yet but i'm really proud of this and yeah if you head to the preston harris museum open exhibition you will see this on the wall I hope. The standard of the kids' work, as I said in my vlog last year, it was fantastic. It was beating the grown-ups' work tenfold. It was amazing. And I was a bit in awe of it. So having my son exhibit some of his work there, or not alongside mine, but in the same exhibition as mine, it's, it's going to be a good thing to do. And it's something that we can do together. We're going to take them in one evening next week and for the drop-offs and then we'll probably go in together get like a Christmas hot chocolate or something and then have a look around the exhibition which would be really good I think it's great for kids as well I, I applaud the Harris Museum for including kids in this as a separate as a separate category it's free for under 18s to exhibit as well which is fantastic but it sort of it gets them into the museums which is so often not utilised and not used. We, we use it quite a lot, they had a Lego dinosaur exhibition, they had a comic book exhibition this summer which was great but I think kids putting their work into these things can only lead to great things. So yeah, as I say, bit of a bonus vlog today, very short, but I just wanted to let you know what was happening and I also wanted to let you know the dates, 8th of December until the 20th of January at the Harris Museum in Preston. Bang in the middle, Preston's a lovely city, a bit, bit of an underrated city I think, and yeah, bit of culture, bit of Christmas culture this, this season, so yeah, let me know if you're going to go and it'd be great to see some people down there and if you're within the radius i know a few people who watch this are local to me and so much so they work down the road and yeah exhibit you've got time i think the hand in dates are until the first the first between 10 and 4 
you can hand them in and tell. So yeah, thanks for watching as always. Please like, subscribe and comment. Please head to my Instagram feed as well because I will try and update you. I'll take a few pictures of handing the pictures in, the photos in and stuff like that and stories, Instagram stories from when I go and have a look around and all that kind of stuff. But you know, you know all that kind of stuff already. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.